All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay Will. So three days ago, uh, yeah, I've been busy with cell phones. It is, it's kind of hard to juggle a bunch of cell phones, but I'll try to make sure I do it for you guys. So about three or four days ago, I uh, gave you an unboxing of the HTC U Life, uh, U11 Life uh, that I picked up. It's $300 full cost on T-Mobile, or you can get it $350 uh, for, um, at, through HTC directly. Well, this is a follow-up video on the HTC U11 Life, and in this video, I'm going to tell you uh, a couple of reasons why I think it's definitely a must-buy if you're in the smartphone game and you're a tech reviewer or you're just an average consumer. So the first thing I wanted to talk about with the phone is the cameras. The cameras on the HTC U11 Life are absolutely fantastic. I mean, they are mind-blowing. And you guys know that I use the HTC U11, the bigger brother, for 99% of the videos on my channel. Uh, and everybody says, oh my gosh, you know, the footage is great. I can't believe that's a cell phone. Well, I try to keep it that way because of running smartphoneconversations.com. And I tell you what, the U11 Life has made its way into the top three for cameras. That is, you're probably thinking, Jay, no way. I've tested the U11's cameras and the uh, U11 Life's cameras in a lot of situations. And um, I got to tell you, it's beating out phones that cost twice as much. Um, there's just no getting around it. Some phones have really bad front cameras and some phones have really bad or poor rear cameras. Now, the rear cameras definitely are questionable and you'll be able to decide for yourself because I'm going to show them to you uh, in this video. But uh, nonetheless, the first thing... That I think the reason I should just think you should jump out there is and, and, and test this phone out is because of the front and the rear camera. Those they're both fantastic. Um, another thing is the software on the phone. If you if you think about the U11 and the U11 Plus, they're all, they're all they have the same software. But this phone is running a Snapdragon 630. Now I will say that's not one of the top reasons I would tell you to buy it. Uh, the 630 runs good. I think I just like the 625 better for some reason. Uh, the 630 is not a battery hog. It's actually very efficient on battery. Uh, the phone's standby time is fantastic. Just everything about the phone is really, really nice. So um, cameras is the reason you should jump out there and check it out. And software is actually pretty solid on here. Uh, it's Nothing can go wrong uh, um, by spending $300 on a phone and you're getting this kind of performance from a phone. Um, I mean, no hiccups, no flaws so far. I, all the cap applications are loaded up. Um, usage on it is pretty good. Another thing is battery. I shouldn't say nothing can go wrong, but I guess what I mean to say is for 300 bucks, you're getting so much in the way, the way I see it. You're getting a, a premium looking phone that's actually built it's from plastic, but it's premium. It's lightweight though because of that plastic build. Fantastic battery life. I mean, the 2600, I think it's got a 26 or a 2700 milliamp hour battery in there. It's actually really, really solid. Uh, so, you know, cameras, battery life, performance. The 5.2 inch display on it is 1080p. It's actually pretty good. So, anybody, I think right now, um, Forbes Tech is the only one. He pretty much buys every phone that I buy. And I'm, I watched his unboxing and I was thinking, man, I wonder how he's going to like this phone. The cameras on this phone definitely rival phones that are, I can't, be, I'm not gonna beat that up. So uh, overall, the experience with the phone has actually been pretty stellar. Uh, in fact, this entire video is not the U11. This is actually the U11 Life's front camera. So you can see how much on par it is with the bigger brothers. So how's the HTC U11 Life? Fantastic, man. Yeah, the build quality is not top notch. And it's plastic, but that could play uh, play in your favor because uh, it makes the phone a little bit more lightweight. Um, you know, battery life is good, like I said before. Just the overall experience of the device, it's it's the same um, pretty much as as oh, oh <laughs> drop test. It's the same as this phone pretty much. It's just not as uh, fast and fluid pretty much. So um, I don't know. I, I, even at this point, just three to four days in, I could recommend this phone. Um, but you know, it's up to you to ultimately make the decision. Uh, it's a little bit more small. It's got a 5.2 inch display, so the, the overall footprint is smaller uh, than, than the U11, which makes it easy on the pocket. Uh, it's got a fast fingerprint reader. It has the edge sense. It has everything that the bigger brothers have, just in a more affordable package. Yeah, you don't get a quad HD display, but 
this 1080p display is actually pretty nice. Yes, it has the, the bezels on the top and bottom just like this phone, but at 5.2 inches, it's a smaller display, a smaller body, and it still takes on the 16 by 9 ratio. So, what do you guys think? This entire video was done with the HTC U Life, U11 Life, I have to get that together, U11 Life. Now tell me these cameras are not on par with the U11. And you know, if I didn't have the U11 and I bought this for vlogs, totally doable. As a matter of fact, I might start using this camera to do some of the videos and give my big boy a rest right here. Because I have, uh, I actually had it on the charger because I wear this thing out. I might have to give this phone, a, that phone a rest and start using the U11 Life for the YouTube channel. Totally a great investment. Um, the, instead of buying like a DSLR or something like that, or just a person who wants to start a YouTube channel. There are so many phones out here that you can use to run your channel. It's unbelievable. So this has been the U11 Life, HTC U11 Life update with a partial drop test of my U11. Whoa, didn't want to do that. Uh, and it's your man, Jay Will. What do you guys think? Is the U11 Life a worthy competitor? Are the cameras better than some of the other cameras on your phones? You let me know. Take care.